नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इज ट्राइंग हिज बेस्ट टू इंक्रीज द पावर ऑफ डिफेंस फोर्सेस एवरी नाउ एंड देन देर इज बजट प्रोविजन टू इन्वेस्ट इन द प्रोक्योरमेंट और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ डिफेंस आइटम्स फॉर Air Force, Navy, or Army. Now, India boosts naval power. Brahmos missile deal worth rupees nineteen thousand crore approved by the Cabinet Committee. The Cabinet Committee on Security (CCS) approved the largest purchase order of Brahmos missiles to date on. Wednesday night, with the center clearing a procurement worth rupees twenty thousand crore for the Indian Navy, the procurement to be carried out in phases until two thousand thirty will see Brahmos aerospace plying two hundred Brahmos ER supersonic cruise missile for deployment on the Navy's warship. The contract for this purchase order is expected to be. Signed between Brahmos Aerospace and the Ministry of Defence in March, Brahmos Aerospace is a joint venture between India's Defence Research and Development Organisation and Russia's NPO Machino Strojenia. Previously, every defence item was being procured from foreign countries, but after Modi has become prime minister he has emphasized to manufacture from small to bigger defense equipments in India the brahmos missile has garnered global attention with the philippines becoming its first customer under the leadership of atul rane brahmos aerospace is aiming to achieve a 5 billion USD export target by 2025 aligning with prime minister narendra modi vision of india becoming a net exporter of defense equipment the brahmos missile renowned as the most lethal supersonic cruise missile globally has demonstrated exceptional accuracy in targeting both sea and land based objectives surpassing radar horizons primarily designed for naval deployment this weapon can be launched vertically or inclined from stationary or moving maritime platforms engaging targets as extended targets on sea integrated into the forefront of the indian navy surface combat platform including destroyers and frigates the brahmos serve as the primary offensive weapon through successful test firing from naval warships the missile has exhibited remarkable speed precision and formidable fire power swiftly eliminating enemy targets in various sea to sea or sea to land scenario the missile's salvo launch capability is highly desirable feature as demonstrated in a successful test from the guided missile frigate INS Trikand in salvo mode the brahmos can be launched at intervals of 2 to 2.5 seconds following different trajectories this capability enables the salvo of eight brahmos missile to effectively penetrate and destroy a group of targets equipped with modern anti missile defenses showcasing its versatility and strategic impact the missile was initially de- deployed on INS Rajput previous governments were not at all bothered about the strengthening of indian forces they were simply fixing commissions whatever defense equipment was to be purchased from foreign countries 
this was this was really very unfortunate but now after arrival of nda government the government has completely changed the scenario they are manufacturing from small to bigger defense items in india with or without the collaboration of foreign countries so this is is change in the scenario thank you for watching this video namaskar my dear friends thank you.